My fourth update on very intense cyclone Freddy as of February the 20th, 2023 at 8 in the morning Mauritius time. Now the storm has peaked as a category 5 earlier, but it has since weakened down to a category 4 with winds up to 155 miles per hour or 250 kilometers per hour and a pressure of 930 millibars. It is located around 18.1 degrees south, 60.7 degrees east, moving west at 19 miles per hour or 30 kilometers per hour. Now here's the latest JTWC forecast cone. They're expecting the storm to gradually weaken as the storm passes uh, Mauritius and La Reunion before making a potentially devastating landfall in Madagascar, but likely as a category three or stronger. Uh, they are also expecting the storm to enter the Mozambique Channel where it could re-strengthen from a tropical storm up to a category one before striking Mozambique. Now we do have a variety of warnings in effect. A class three cyclone warning in effect for Mauritius. There's an orange cyclone warning in effect for La Reunion. And for Madagascar, it is a mixture between green and yellow warnings where the cyclone is expected to track. Uh, concerning Rodriguez, I, as far as I'm concerned, uh, all warnings have been discontinued, but there is a safety bulletin in effect. Or there is a, just a safety bulletin. Now the statistical models are expecting gradual weakening of the storm as well. Uh, Shear is expected to have yet another peak on the 21st, but sea surface temperatures when the cyclone is over water and relative humidity will not serve much of an issue for the storm. Now NRL is down and I can't use the h Wharf run, so we have the GFS which has been downplaying the storm its entire life, I've got to say. And even, even the uh, landfall in Madagascar, 979 millibars, which is something typical of a category one pressure. That is, that is a downplay by the model. And maybe the rainfall totals might be downplayed as well. For both Madagascar and Mauritius, both are expected to receive around 150 or 175 millimeters of rainfall. But then again, as I said, the GFS has been downplaying uh, this storm for its entire life. So it could be more, but it could also be less. Uh, sea surface temperatures, uh, 28 degrees up to its landfall in Madagascar. A little patch of 29 Celsius uh, off the west coast of Madagascar when the storm re-enters, well, well, the storm enters the Mozambique Channel. Not going to be a problem when the storm is over water, both before Madagascar and after Madagascar. Now here's the satellite imagery. Uh, you can see uh, the Mauritius starting to pop up here. So the storm is approaching these islands. Uh, they do not have a lot of time to prepare. So yeah, and Mauritius no, not Mauritius, Madagascar, expecting to see a devastating landfall within the next 48 hours. They're running out of time as well. And Mozambique also has to keep an eye on the cyclone. And they might need to start preparing when the storm makes landfall in Madagascar. Uh, so those in the path of this storm, stay safe and remember, follow, follow the officials your local uh, radio or news broadcast and yeah stay safe from this storm this is an extremely dangerous situation beginning to unfold well it has been unfolding for quite a while